With Google Earth, now you can see more of the globe than ever. And in this video, you would be learning how to use Google Earth. So first of all, you need to download the application. And for that, you need to log on to earth.google.com. Once the web page loads, simply click on the download button. You need to agree to the terms and conditions before actually downloading the application. And for that, you need to click on the agree and download button. Now the downloading will automatically start. Once you have downloaded and installed the application, simply click on the shortcut icon that is appearing on the desktop. And that will start the Google Earth application. On the top left corner, there is a fly to command, which directly takes you to a particular location. In the fly to search panel, type in any place that you want to search for and hit enter. Alternatively, you can click on the Begin Search button, which is represented by a magnifying glass. Once you have been taken to your location, you can zoom in and zoom out out of a certain location using the navigation controls on the right. You can even use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. With this application, you can travel back in time to see historic imagery by clicking on the time slider option on the top panel. You can choose any time frame from the slider and the application would automatically generate results. You can use place marks to mark any location on the planet. To create a place mark, just simply click on the icon and then choose any place you want to save. Name the location and once you have created a place mark, it appears in the My Places folder located in the Places panel. You can then quickly go to the mark location at any time by double clicking on the place mark in your Places panel. You can also check out the sunlight across the landscape by clicking on the small sunlight icon located in the upper tab. It's a pretty cool feature in this application.